Now, Art, you have a really intriguing mm. story talking about <laughs> letter writing scams. Yeah. You have a really intriguing story of how you met your current girlfriend. Well, definitely want to protect your privacy. Let's just call her Sveta, let's okay. say. Yeah, that's okay. good. And, um, you know, it, it's what we were talking about before, this trap, this age difference trap. You have a perfect classic example of how, that, that yeah, a, a, a lady with 30 plus years difference can fall in love with you. Yeah. And, but now, where is that relationship going? Where can it really go with that big of a gap? Even though she now falls, fell in love with you. Um, if you really appreciate you sharing your story and being so vulnerable uh, to help other men not make this mistake that you made, um, could you share? And it's a really cool story. Yeah, of, I, I, of, I'm happy to. I'm happy to. Uh, it's a true story. This is uh, an ongoing relationship right now, so this is not some mm -hmm. fabrication. And I'll, I'll uh, yeah. share it exactly as it happened. And. Thank uh, you. So I was uh, writing uh, uh, letter writing. Uh, this was last year. I'm still still caught in the letter writing trap. And uh, this beautiful young girl uh, was writing to me, and so I succumbed to it and wrote back to her. And pretty soon started feeling a connection. It sounded very real. And I'm writing letters to her here in Sumi. And uh, <clears throat> I uh, got to the point where I was uh, get her personal information. And these letters were just. I mean, I was. I would be bearing my heart and being very honest and open to this little this young lady that I was uh, sharing with, and so I was pouring my heart out to her and uh, thinking maybe this is the one. And so I got the personal information, which was an email address, and so I... She gave you her personal email address? Yeah, after, after, a, after a certain time you mm -hmm. can you know, buy the, the email okay. address or you basically bought it. So I uh, got the email address, and uh, I don't even remember what it was, honestly, if it was a, a scammy address or what. Mm -hmm. But I do know this, that when I wrote to her in the email address, it went directly to the agency. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the answer that I got back on the email was, uh, she said something like, uh, do you have Viber? Well, I wasn't sure what Viber was. So I said, what's Viber? But it's huge in the Ukraine. Oh, you don't use WhatsApp. It's huge. It's Viber. huge. Uh, and so I said, what's Viber? And she, and she wrote back and said, well, it's a uh, uh, communication. You can, it's an app, app you can get and download right onto your... I said, oh, okay. Well, uh, and I said, uh, well, uh, here's my phone number. And uh, I went ahead and, and did it. And uh, later that day, uh, she Vibered me. Mm -hmm. And I, because so I, I had it downloaded by then, and first time I'd ever used it, and she vibered me, and I, wow, and you know, this is kind of interesting. And mm -hmm. so I wrote back, and, and uh, she said, it's me. And I said, well, it's who? Who are you? And she said, it's uh, so-and-so that you've been writing to on for some time. So you've been writing to, we'll call her Natasha. Yeah, we'll call her Natasha. Okay, that was the picture of the beautiful young lady. Yes, indeed writing. it was. Natasha. That was who I had fallen in love with. Right. Natasha. A picture. And the letters and the heart and everything that had been written. Yeah. So I said... Uh, and she I said her name was? Well... Uh, Sveta, yes? That is... Uh, yeah, her real name is Sveta. Mm -hmm. Well, first she said... Uh, well, it's her, we're, it's we're me, uh, and I'm going, who? Is this Natasha? Mm -hmm. And she said... Back, she said, well, yes and no. And I'm going, oh, I don't know what's going on. Because now I'm getting yes confused. No. <laughs> she said, I need to tell you a truth. But I don't want you to get mad at me. And I don't want, I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing now. I don't want you to get mad yeah. at me. And I, I have to be very careful because I could lose my job mm -hmm. if you tell what's going on mm -hmm. and I said what's going on you know I'm going like I don't even know what's going on mm -hmm. and she said my name is Sveta and I said Sveta I thought it was Sveta and I'm I going was Natasha. well you know I'm confused at this point it's got she got me going and I'm going yeah. who are you yeah who are you and she says uh, uh, my name is Sveta and I'm an interpreter at the letter writing agency that you've been writing letters to, Natasha. Mm -hmm. And of course, this I'm trying to process this. This is the first time this has really been this. I can only imagine. Because I said, kind of, you, you, you know, you, you feel like you're falling for this girl. I would imagine. 
Yes. Like like Natasha, this yes. beautiful picture, because yes. yes. you're pouring your heart out to her for yes. months, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, this proceeded along at this, who are you? I don't believe you. And she would come back and say, I know, I'm sorry to deceive you, that I've deceived you by writing letters for Natasha for you. But she said, do you believe that you could fall some for somebody from letter writing? And I said, yes, I believe that. She said, I've fallen for you through writing your letters. Mm -hmm. And I and I'm and then I said, well, who are you? Mm -hmm. is, is are you Natasha or are you Sveta? Is that your picture or isn't it? Mm -hmm. said, no, that's not my picture. That woman that you're writing to doesn't even ever come into the agency. Does she even know about you? She didn't even know who I was. Natasha didn't never, know about you. Never even knew. Never and even Sveta knew. Sveta is ready, ready, reading your heartfelt yep. emails and responding, and she's fallen for you. Can I ask, what was the age difference? 30 plus years? 30 years. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, then I'm getting confused, I'm getting defensive, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm saying, I, I, I need to think about this. I, give, let me think and process this. Mm -hmm. And so about an hour or so later I said, um, okay, if I believe you, where do we go here? And so she says, I'm going, she says, she sent me two photographs of her and says, is this a, is this a woman you, th you think you might be able to love? And what does she look like? Huh, she looks pretty darn good. <laughs> <laughs> she actually looked better than the girl I was <laughs> writing to. And so I so said. So she was hot, slim, sexy. Beautiful woman. Beautiful she, woman. She is a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, but, uh, uh, and you're a beautiful woman, it'd be very easy to fall for you uh, physically, but I also need to know your inner world. I need to know that you're a beautiful person inside because that's important to me. And but so, she was probably, in those letters, she was probably coming from her. So you no, actually did know Well, her, yes and you? no. No, I didn't. See, that was the interesting okay. thing. Uh, now I'm confused. I know it. Well, <laughs> I was the one being honest, but she was not in the letters because she was following a scripted oh, profile. Remember, this is okay. a profile of a okay. woman. She has to follow the script she was profile. Going to co the corporate lines, I guess. The corporate uh -huh. lines. Uh -huh. And uh, she was actually, uh, uh, when I got the email, and the second time she emailed me, uh, she was uh, told by the director to stop emailing, getting back on letters. So uh, that's when we went to Viber immediately because it's untraceable. The, e the emails were traceable right. and she would have got fired. Mm -hmm. So as we progressed along uh, uh, over a few days, I decided I'd believe her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, nobody could make this up. It had to, you know, had to be real. Yeah. So uh, I decided, okay, the next day I wrote her back and said, okay, I, I've thought about this. I'm not angry. I'm not, you were doing a job. Uh, I think it's a foul job, and I think you shouldn't be doing it, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm willing to accept it. Uh, let's go from here and see what happens. And we did, and uh, she had, interesting enough, she told me her story. Then she told me the whole story. Once she knew that I wasn't going to call the director and get her fired, because mm -hmm. was, it was the only job she had. Mm -hmm. So she had only worked for him about uh, a month, three weeks, something like that. And uh, right after we began our communication and our, our uh, relationship started growing, uh, she quit. Uh, she didn't like it either, couldn't, couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. She couldn't handle the deception and the lies. Mm -hmm. She was uh, given a, 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 a computer with an interpret, uh, a really high class interpretation software in it and she'd go into the office as well. She had a group of ladies that was her responsibility. Uh, she was never real specific, but it sounded to me at, at times maybe 20, 30 women that was... Her were, block. Her block of women, yeah, and her she's, pool. So she's writing on behalf of, well, on behalf yeah. of. She's pretending. She's pretending to be these women. To be, to be women. 20 or yeah. more women. And, uh, writing to all these Western Yes, women. and all these men are writing, and she's just answering them. And mm -hmm. she goes home at night and did them at night at, at home and did them in the office and whatever. But, but you stood out among that block of tw I, well, 20, 30 men, and she fell for you. I don't know. That's all I... I can't believe it either, and I was really surprised. I, it was the most shocking thing that had ever happened to me in this whole dating mm -hmm. that I've been here. I was just shocked. Mm -hmm. So a 
kind of move on on this, sure. and I, uh, I after about uh, several weeks of communication, serious communication daily, I mean, dozens and dozens, maybe 20, 30 interactions every day, questions, answers, back and forth on, on Viber. Viber, which is free. Yeah. It's not like writing a letter. And it's instant. It's instant. It's texting. Yes, right. it's instant. And yeah. we also did uh, uh, Skype. Video. Skype videos, oh. live Skyping back and forth, even yeah. though her English was not so great. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter. She could do a little. And I, my little bit of Russian, we were able to talk back and forth, see that we were real people. Mm -hmm. See her without makeup on and see me with yeah. <laughs> looking like I do. Yeah. Uh, I, I made uh, uh, tri uh, plans to come over. And uh, I came over. And uh, we had uh, continued this relationship building for almost a month prior to my arrival. I just couldn't get over any sooner. And by the time uh, I did come over here, our relationship was had grown to the point where uh, it was like I'd known her for a long. When we met face to face, it was like the most comfortable thing. I was just like I'd known her for a long time. And there was chemistry? Oh, God. Was there ever? <laughs> <laughs> that, and uh, so now we've uh, we've been together. We've had our ups and downs because uh, this is a real relationship. This is not a, and she a has fairy children. tale. She has one daughter, one ten daughter, years old. Yeah. She does not want to leave Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, she's not uh, has no interest in leaving Ukraine. Whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been together about six months now. Mm -hmm. Have a relationship. I'm not saying it's easy. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a language difficulty. Uh, she speaks enough English and I speak enough Russian and we have translators to work with. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was a fluke as far as I'm concerned. That was not something you'd ever count on. Mm -hmm. uh, it never happened to me before. May never, uh, well, Lord willing, it'll never happen again. That's what they look for. And if they make that connection, mm -hmm. I mean, they don't really care if you got, uh, you know, a little beer gut here and no hair and not the best looking guy, you know. But but if you've got that connection with them in the heart, and here you are, with and, a heart and, and, yeah, and well, a thirty-year difference. What do I do now? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the epitome of a predicament. It is a predicament. Hey, it's Joe here. How are you doing? Listen, I wanted to talk to you openly and personally for a moment here. Maybe you're like I was, divorced two times and just really um, distraught and given up on ever finding your other half, a soulmate, your best friend, somebody that's amazing, smart, sexy, talented, educated woman that will rock your world in more ways than you can imagine. I've found that and I wish you to find that. I fervently believe the best women, the best wives are in the Ukraine here. I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.